Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good day today. I know I definitely am. You could probably tell why based off the title and also what is sitting right behind me. And uh, speaking of what's sitting behind me, I also have the squirrel tuned shirt sitting here, which uh, I'm super happy with how they turned out and hopefully you guys are too. If you got your pre-order in, then your shirt is probably already there or it will be there soon. And if you missed a pre-order, then you can click the top link in the description and get yours ordered after the video. But anyways, uh, let's, uh, check out the car and uh, let me show you all the changes that were made while it was gone all right guys so here it is this is uh my car if you believe it or not <laughs> and even i uh, have trouble believing it sometimes uh this is definitely a completely different car than i had before or have ever had really it's kind of a one-of-a-kind thing and I'm super happy with how it turned out. As you can see, the turbo mounted right there in the grill. It's uh, just kind of hiding in there, and I decided to paint this all black in here in order to, uh, you know, kind of look more like a factory grill, make it not look uh, quite as race car as just a fully filled out fiberglass front bumper. But you may also notice if you uh, seen before, there was a hole in the hood right around here but that got filled in and it all got painted as you can see and it turned out great it's not even clean right now but it looks amazing and uh, i'm super happy with it and also you will see there where the uh, downpipe exits um, so there was a lot more than just body work while the car was gone so anyways i'm going to go ahead and pull all this off and uh, show you guys what's underneath All right guys, so now that I've showed you the pretty part of the car, let's show you what it's actually about in the engine bay. So in case any of you have forgot, or if you're new to the channel, this is my stock bottom end 4.8. And uh, anyways, I'm just gonna give a quick overview of what it was done while the car was at 4D Motorsports. Um, that is the Dickinson family. They did a great job on it and I'm super happy with it. But anyways, I'm probably gonna miss quite a bit of it because there was a lot of work done. As you guys know, the car has been gone for a while, but they did a, a lot of work and uh, I'm super happy with how it turned out. But anyways, uh, first thing was the tube front end. We didn't originally plan on doing this, but we ended up finding out while the car was there that the original one was bent up a little bit. So we decided to go ahead and put a new one in, which they completely custom fabbed themselves. And you can see they also did a little bar around or a little cage for the fuel cell to keep that protected. But you also see that the turbo mount comes off of the tube front end uh, down under the radiator there. And you can see there is bolts there that make it uh, removable. So this uh, tile housing for the GT55 has a few mounts on it and that's how they recommend mounting it. So went ahead and did that. Kind of copied that off of Joseph Young with his uh, super nice car. He did a pretty much the same style mount and uh, it turned out great. So decided to go ahead and do that on mine. And you also see that coming from that uh, forced inductions 88 millimeter GTR turbo that there is a uh, no intercooler the car is on methanol or it will be on methanol and that is also why there is a mechanical fuel pump down there some of this uh, you guys probably already know but uh, just giving a quick overview for the people that may be new to the channel but anyways they did the full turbo kit um, I gave them the headers they were just flow tech headers but they went ahead and necked them down to a two and a half inch uh, pipe in order to get the velocity up a little bit for the turbo to help spool it with this little 4.8 but they did uh, all that all that fab work and they also went ahead and mounted the front bumper and these uh, mounts here the actual metal mount under there it actually mounts to the uh, mount for the radiator so that is removable as well for whenever I go to remove the engine I can go ahead and get all that stuff out of the way which uh, is actually what I'll be doing next unfortunately uh, not able to just go ahead and wire everything up and plumb it all and uh, 
get started I have some work to do on the engine and transmission so next up I am going to be pulling the engine and transmission and I will be swapping those old uh, 706's out for some nice ported 862's these are unported as uh, some of you know and I'm also going to be swapping out the cam which you guys have seen the specs for which is uh, not near as aggressive as some people may expect for something uh, much more aggressive to help spool this big old turbo and uh, you know take advantage of all the changes being made including the uh, fuel change so I will also be pulling the transmission apart and installing my Hughes two-stage dump valve they are a company that has uh, come on board this year and helped me out quite a bit and I am now a distributor for them as well so if you guys need any Hughes parts or anything transmission or converter related or anything like that go ahead and uh, hit me up and I may be able to help you out with that but anyways this is just a quick little overview um, most of this you guys have already seen the mechanical fuel pump down there of course and uh, I'm not sure if I showed this before but the alternator is down there I have kind of not decided for sure if I'm going to actually end up using an alternator the car is 16 volt currently but I uh, think I will and I'll probably end up putting a 12 volt battery in it I have a, a little lightweight 12 volt battery so get a little bit more weight off but anyways I'm super happy with the car and I think it turned out sweet hopefully you guys are too and uh, anyways that's uh, pretty much it for this video I just wanted to show you guys that the car is back and you're going to be seeing a lot more content on it soon and uh, next video I will probably be pulling it all apart and uh, getting into getting it all ready to go for the new setup all right so let me know what you guys think in the comments personally I am super happy with the car as I'm sure I've said it about 50 times in this video I don't even know what to do with a car this nice but I guess I'll be figuring that out pretty soon but anyways next up as I said before I'll be pulling the engine out and putting some of the new parts on it as well as the transmission and then after that I'll be putting it back in and getting started on all of the plumbing and wiring and all that fun stuff so I'll be bringing you guys along the whole build process and uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully we can re-break the stock bottom end 4.8 record together and uh, of course whenever I get to the tuning process and all that I'll be showing a ton of that as well which uh, most people won't do as you guys know but I think it'll be uh, pretty cool and I like sharing all that stuff and seeing what everybody thinks but anyways uh, let, let me know what you guys think about the car in the comments and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.